I'm Bertie Carvel and I play Adam Dalglish. I mean, Bertie was a very early thought and we all just agreed straight away. And obviously when he agreed to do it, we were thrilled. Obviously Bertie's playing Dalglish and he's just a joy to work with. Really, really lovely and generous actor. I felt really excited about Bertie. I've worked with Bertie before and because Dalglish has so much emotional intelligence and I knew that Bertie would absolutely get hold of that and run with it. I knew we needed somebody who could be really truly profound and find those layers within the character and, and he really did that and it was so exciting to see. The thing that interests me about Adam Dalglish is that I think he's quite difficult to describe. So I'm interested in the contradictions that define people. I think that's, that's usually when a character starts to come alive for me. So on the one hand, he is taciturn, ruthless, inscrutable. But on the other hand, underneath those still waters, I think there's quite a deep emotional hinterland. We really sympathised in many ways with the Taglish character in that this is a man who is so good at his job, yet on an emotional level, he's went through a lot of trauma and there was a lot to tap into there. P.D. James describes Adam Dalglish as having a sliver of ice in the heart, and I thought quite a lot about what that means. He's ruthless in his pursuit of the truth. I think of him as a, a hawk or an eagle. There's something lofty and quite remote and still and angular and poised, but extremely determined. There's something uncompromising in his gaze, think of him as having a sort of basilisk stare. The character of Dalglish, who's so complex and engaging, there's something about, you know, that poet sensibility which he has, coupled with the rigour of the really strong detective. On page one of the script, Helen Edmondson describes him as often inscrutable, and I love that word. It means it's difficult to tell what's going on under the surface. You know, he has a poetic soul, he's a poet, so he's a, he's a policeman and a poet. Odd combination, says someone in episode one. And I spend a lot of time thinking about what kind of a poet he might be to understand who he's writing for, where he's writing from. But actually the key is that he's not writing poetry and to think about why not. He's fascinating because so much is within. And I love the fact that there wasn't that sort of serious list of tropes, you know, that he was a, you know, a quieter character in a way, but he had to have enormous presence. If you're interviewing the girls, I'll need to be present. We're taking witness statements, that's all. I consider myself in loco parentis. And you'll be the first to know if I suspect any of them of involvement in Nurse Pierce's death. I assume you'd prefer to inform the next of kin. I'd be grateful if you'd do that as soon I'll as possible. I'll do it now. And I'd like to speak to you as soon as you're finished here. Second floor. Costume designer felt that he should look not out of place in any era. So I wear suits that are quite classically tailored, but very deftly, it doesn't look out of place in the 70s, and indeed you can tell it's been tailored in the 70s. But he's not of the period, and one of the things actually I find so exciting about the part, there's a sense that he is out of time, actually. And then around him is this very exact portrait of a period of the mid-70s. One of the most exciting and interesting parts of the job, I think, was trying to find uh, Dalglish and, and what Dalglish should wear. So that was a really, really rewarding process. And of course, we also worked really closely with Brady himself. He was the person that had to embody the, the character of Dalglish. So that was a really organic and, and really collaborative process. It also hopefully means that he's fascinating with every story. You start to get different sides of the man, which again, I think is interesting for the audience rather than having the whole person on a plate. He gets revealed as the series goes on. I hope people will tune in and come to watch a character where it's sort of seen through a glass darkly. You know, there's, there's something quite profound going on there.